think it's, it's very um, unnerving for folks when we talk in units of radiation and milligram uh, and, and you don't understand it and you're not used to it. I'm, I'm going to give an analogy and it's not a scientific analogy, but it might help you. I would never work on 13.8 kilovolts of electricity because I'm not trained in electricity kills. If you look at industrial safety accidents, driving your vehicle and electricity are two of the highest causes of death in industry and to the general public. I would never work on 13.8 KPs, but I charge my iPhone every single night. I charge my iPad every single night. I touch that cord, I move that cord, I don't feel a tingle, I don't feel a shock, and if I lift that cord, it wouldn't hurt me. There are levels of radiation that will kill you. There are levels of radiation that we know will cause cancer. These levels of radiation are just above natural background at the WIP site. And so there is no expectation that those measurements for you or your children or anyone else will show exposure on lung count. They're down in the levels of licking your iPhone charger. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to equate radiation exposure to something that you can understand. It's, it's like driving your car at 100 miles per hour. If you hit something else, you're more likely to die in that wreck. If you're driving at 25 miles an hour, you're more likely to survive that wreck. 